We're right in the middle of putting together some boilerplate for our new application. We created our browser window object right here. We can now continue by making sure that we load an HTML document up into the window that's been created. So remember how we load an HTML document into a browser window that's been created. First, we'll locate the HTML document that we want to load into it. So inside of the SRC directory, I'll find the index.html file. So this is what we want to load up into the browser window that was just created. The first thing we're going to do is to make sure that we assign the browser window to a variable inside of our index.js file. So right above the app.onReadyCall, remember that we always declare these variables that are going to maintain a reference to our different browser window or our different tray running applications, all these different things. We always declare them outside of the app.onReadyCall. That allows us to make reference to this main window inside of other event handlers, like maybe somewhere down here. So right above the app.onReadyCall, we'll initialize the main window variable. And then we'll assign the browser window that we created to main window, like so. After that, we can then load a URL, URL up into this application, or up into this browser window. So right underneath the new browser window declaration, we'll then call main window dot load URL. Don't forget to use capital URL here. And then again, I'm sure you're getting quite used to this. This is the, probably the fourth time we've done it in this course. We're going to use an ES6 template string. So I'll use my back ticks. And then we'll say look at file. Get the current working directory, so dir name. Then look at the src directory and load up the index.html document sitting inside of there. So index.html, like so. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think that we've probably got enough code on the screen right here to at least get something to appear up and hopefully get the React application to appear inside of it. Before we start running this application at the terminal, let's review the scripts that are listed inside of our package.json directory. Excuse me, package.json file. So inside of package.json, we'll find the script section. And yep, it looks like we've got a script in here to start up the Webpack dev server. Remember that the Webpack dev server is responsible for building the React side of our application and serving it up to that index.html file. We also have the script for starting up the Electron side of our application as well. Okay, so we can give this a shot by running it at our terminal. Remember that we need to have two terminal windows open. So I'm going to open up a second window right here. This is really a feature of iTerm, which is the terminal that I use. If you're using terminal or command window, recall all you gotta do is open up a second command window and navigate to the project directory. So once we're back here, on this side, I'll start up my running electron process. So npm run electron. And then in the other window, we'll start up npm run webpack like so. Now I think that I might have made a little typo in here. npm run webpack, missing script webpack. Did I just really, oops, npm run start, my mistake. Not webpack, start. Okay, much better. So we'll give webpack just a moment to warm up and get everything rolling. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we can flip back over to the electron side. I'm gonna hit Command R to refresh the running application. And it looks like nothing is popping up just yet. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so we get our nice file picker immediately appearing on the screen. Again, this is part of the React side of the application that's already been wired up or put together for us. Now you'll immediately notice that if we click on this thing right here, we get this file picker appearing on the screen where we can select some number of video files. And so yes, again, the React side already contains a pretty good amount of functionality. Let's take a break and we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive into the React side of this application and kind of get a better sense of what React is doing for us inside the starter package. Now again, you don't need to know anything about React to get through this application. So if you don't know anything about React, hey, don't sweat it. I'm gonna continue on regardless. So let's take a quick break and then we'll take a glance at the React side.